What's up, everybody? Tony Pizza Guy here, reporting on location for Morning Mayhem, our morning show. We're going to be talking about WWE 2K15. We have a heat index of about 106 right now. As you can see, it's gorgeous outside, but I felt like we should use that heat index to our advantage and report on some hot news we have for WWE 2K15. So, what we're talking about is the collector edition of the game. We know that Hulk Hogan brother is going to be the special edition guy for WWE 2K15, and we know this because he tweeted out that he was signing a bunch of stuff for WWE 2K15. Now everybody's saying, that's got to be collector's edition. Is this a good idea? Probably not. I think Hogan is a wrong choice for a collector's edition. He was already featured last year's game. He was on the road to WrestleMania stuff, the 30 years of WrestleMania, I should say, and he had the NWO Hogan in it. He had the red and yellow Hogan in it. What really are they going to do? Are they going to give autographs? do armbands, stuff like that. I figure it's just some sort of contract he signed with WWE when he did his legend contract to come back into the WWE. So that's where we're at with that. What I want to say is they should have probably picked somebody else for the game because, honestly, Hogan, not the guy I would have chosen. I would have picked somebody like Brock Lesnar. Last year we had Undertaker Special Edition. Why not have Brock Lesnar this year? Or even just do a John Cena Special Edition. Why not? I mean, come on. People are complaining about the cover, which we know has John Cena on it. But there's a lot of people complaining, like, why, why, why? He's the guy. Just roll with it. It happens. John Cena's the man, so make it work. So I say, why not do a collector's edition with John Cena? Or even just do four different collectors. You know, Call of Duty does a a, uh, collector's edition, and they do a mega special thing where they give you a prop or something. I don't know. They should do two different editions to it, right? You get one where you get DLC and a autograph or something and two you get like an action figure a bunch of other cool stuff so that's a that's my idea for that but honestly i think that uh, w2k15 is doing some things in the right direction they're doing a lot of new motion capture they're doing a lot of other things that are generating buzz with the game we know that they're gonna be on the ps4 the xbox one 360 and the ps3 and i'm gonna be getting it for ps4 and the Xbox 360, so I could have that version to compare, because there's going to be two definitive different games going on. Now let's switch gears a little bit, we're going to talk about Superstar Edge, because somebody tweeted out to me a Facebook picture of Edge's Facebook, saying that Edge was going, in fact, going to be doing a My Legend mode, which I don't, this is this can't be true, this is 100% not true, it's a fake Facebook account, I'm sure, because I haven't heard anybody else talk about it, but I did want to say, it is a little bit interesting, right? A My Legend mode where you have basically Road to WrestleMania or relive their career, something like that. That might be a good new feature. I know they like to relive a lot of stuff. Why not just pick a couple superstars and relive the great moments of their career? I think that's a great way that they can take the game in a different direction but also keep it sort of the same. You know, you get Edge, John Cena, Stone Cold, who else ever you want to put in the game. You could do it. It would be awesome. Another idea that I had for the game is the NXT mode. Everybody wants to know, is the NXT mode going to be in the game where you have to make yourself go from the low roster, work your way all the way to the top, and be a WWE superstar in you know the main roster. You start off low, you work your way up, you do it. It's a simple concept. It's been done before in other video games. Why not do it in here? And I think it's perfect. The one and other thing I did want to talk about is the virtual currency that they have. They have that with the NBA franchise where you can get the coins, you can buy stuff, you can open packs, you can get different superstars. Well, that's what you would do in the game. You'd have different superstars. So that's the other idea that we want to do is take some things from the 2K video games, you know, the the NBA franchise, use that, and ultimately make the game the best game that you could possibly do. Now, it is very, very hot. I am about to sweat 106 out, but I did want to bring you that. Thank you for watching Morning Mayhem. If you enjoyed this, Make sure you smash the like button. Let me know that you enjoy this kind of thing. As always, Tony Pizza Guy. Frego.